My name is Kim Jivagiani, co-founder and uh, CEO of SolarGem. And uh, in the 16 months that we've been on operation, we won the Australian Innovator of the Year for 2010 in San Francisco and also the Australian International Design Award in June. And the feedback I got back from the judges from both awards was that we addressed a major global problem and served a major need. And that need is of energy. According to the United Nations, approximately um, a third of the world's population still don't have basic energy. And the World Bank believes that energy is the single most critical element to the prosperity of a nation. Those 1.6 billion or, or a third of uh, mankind will never have, have access to grid-connected energy that we <coughs> enjoy here in the West. Most of them will rely on uh, kerosene or diesel-generated energy. Solar, renewable energy is now taking some shape in, in many of these countries that don't have energy. However, most of them have proved to be quite unreliable and inflexible in their approach as an energy source. SolarGem and the award-winning SolarGem technology provides a much longer, durable life, a billing system, hence we're an energy company, effectively an off-grid energy company, and a system that is very modular, scalable, and robust for the kind of environments that you will want this kind of technology to work in. What does SolarGem enable? We enable the powering the energy for mobile phones, lights, water systems, um, a small vaccination fridges and, and uh, schools. And the key thing about this is that it fits in very nicely with the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. And those goals are of economic empowerment. Those goals are of enabling better education, health, clean environment and eco-sustainable living. It just so happens and by coincidence that we satisfy many of these, these needs through our energy system. What have we done to date? We've sold systems in Botswana, Congo, Kenya, Yemen, Ethiopia. We're now conducting some large trials with the Indian government and also a number of other trials across the world. What's our path to market and what's, what's it been so far? We've worked with foundations, corporate social responsibility units here in, uh, in Melbourne, in fact. Uh, much of, uh, some of our systems will be going to an orphanage in Kenya. So our Australian winning Technology will now power uh, an orphanage in Kenya where children would have otherwise have lit candles up to read. Now they're going to light up our systems. The United Nations uh, Millennium Development Program, uh, the World Bank, NGOs, and AusAid are all um, path to market. Uh, I have Congo there, uh, a Christian charity group here in Sydney. Uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be using our systems very soon. Uh, in a, an emergency ward in, in Congo, when the lights go off in the middle of an operation, the doctors will now be using our system. And also the uh, Indian government, uh, uh, as I said, uh, using uh, trials um, in the next, uh, next, few, next few weeks. SolarGem uh, is a vision, and it's my personal vision. And that personal vision is driven out of personal experiences. Albeit I've, I've grown up in the West, however, I travelled to my ancestral home in India a number of months ago, and I gave one of my systems that you'll see in the uh, Innovation Island and it's as if their faces lit up in front of me. It's as if their lives were going to be somehow different from that day. And I picture that image in my uh, mind every day I wake up because I know that that vision will make a big difference. Now, what am I looking for to support that vision? I need friends and funds, uh, not necessarily in that order. Uh, I need funds first. <laughs> and, and the funds are needed uh, because the products are ready, the channels are ready, the partnerships have been developed and the consumers need this product, I need funds to grow the business. And the friends, uh, I need friends to go into the organisations and others that I mentioned earlier, because they, they, these organisations, the World Bank, the UN, AusAid, have multi-million dollar programmes for electrification of rural remote communities. And I need those friends to come with me and join me uh, in sharing the vision that I have that we can probably make a, uh, a big difference to the world as well as make a, a profitable business out of this. Thanks.